Time to check my Facebook. Facebook, Facebook, gotta check my Facebook, gotta take another look. Nothing new, I am hooked. What to do? Hit refresh. Facebook, Facebook, gotta check my Facebook, gotta... Hello and uh, welcome back to another edition to GSS Videos. I'm your host, Glenn Sam Sloan, hence the GSS, and videos is what I do. In this video, I'm going to uh, tackle some um, Facebook quizzes, because I think they're actually pretty funny. Some get can get... You right, get me right on there on the button, and some of them just thought, how weird. So I thought, um, might well tack it, tackle it for like a YouTube video. So here I go. Um, I think I'll go here. All right, people born between 1953 and 1979 with no life insurance most must read. This, oh, it's not a, um, hang on, that's not a, I'm not reading that one, that's just a, uh, uh, I've already done that one, um, what, uh, I've done it, but I'll actually show you what I've done, what it comes up with, sorry. Sloan. Since 1757, Sloan was once a system manager for system for compassion. Uh, to be a Sloan was to find joy in the happiness of others and to lend a helping hand if others are in a time of need or a shoulder to cry on if they are in a time in a time of heartbreak so that is a good one I actually like that one because that's basically it I'm a Sloan so yay <laughs> all right I'm not sharing it because I've already shared it before I just thought I'd show you you guys um what? I don't know, do I do? Which shot, which, 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 which still did God? Which old, which skill did God give you? God didn't give me any skill because I don't believe in God. I'm an atheist. What? will happen to you. what will happen this year Ooh, shall i do that one what will happen this year um does your partner love you or not mm. what partner I haven't got one i'm single so any ladies out there who's looking for your mr white please i'm right here and i'm looking for you <laughs> um does your partner love you i've read that one are you ready to see your book of memories will it will give you goosebumps watch now do i need to watch now no nah. um god himself has some beautiful advice for you has he really um i have not once seen or even heard of but heard from this imaginary man who apparently lives upstairs so does he really exist? Um, what is the key to your soul? What is the key to my soul? Mm, that sounds interesting. Which 2017 10 trend are you? Ooh, maybe. I could probably do that one. Um, what's the uh, honest truth about you mm, I could do that one take a look at your future house a few your future house car and partner Ooh, that could be a good one I'll go for that one actually what is the future house car and partner let's have a look all right Ooh. 
Okay. My Facebook name is Edward, so I'm here. The future house, it actually looks pretty, uh, well, the house looks pretty sexy. The car does too. And so does the wife. <laughs> so I'm actually pretty happy on that one. Um, yeah, phew, things I'll do to her. That car, of sex on wheels. And if you could, and if, phew, yeah. <laughs> I'll be happy if I had that house and that car and this lovely young lady here. Um, let's have a look. What does it say here? Um, you will live. You will live. Yeah. You will live in a gorgeous mansion, drive an awesome car, and all of this with your true love by your side. That's fantastic. You've already known exactly what you want and that's why it comes as no surprise that all your dreams will come true soon share your result with your friends so that they too can take a look at their future house car and partner wow okay <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, we'll share this. And I'll put it here on my timeline. Um, what's here? Who is your nearest... What is, who is your nearest friend? Ooh, I could do that one. Seven facts about you. To do my seven facts about me, what does your life journey look like? Pretty crap because I can't do the things that I actually want to do. Like, I want you to join the army. I'd be a medic in the army. I want to be a paramedic for the NHS. And the two dream, my two dream jobs, I can't actually do because I've got I've got learning disabilities. I've got hydrocephalus, and I've got and I'm deaf in both ears. So. Those things are holding me back for, for doing the two dream jobs I would love to do, and I can't do them. So, I'm doing my next best thing, and that's here on YouTube, and producing some videos for you guys. Um, can we guess seven people who love you? No, not, it doesn't look right. I don't like that one. Don't know why I don't like that one, but I don't like that one. Are you hyper, uh, hyper, uh, hyperactive or honest? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I can't read this word here. Um, which magical centre are you? Hmm. Hmm. We'll show you which nationality you are your uh, you are at heart ah uh, okay we show what nationality i am at heart what nationality and not nationality um i am i at heart let's have a look what nationality hopefully british <laughs> united states apparently um <laughs> I'm actually United States at heart. <laughs> when, um, you can see in the corner there, I've got a Union Jack scatter cushion. I've got another one there, all right? And they've even got a Union Jack rug down here, all right? So, that, United States, <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm from Britain, from Great Britain, but my heart is apparently from the United States. So, yeah. You belong there, Edward. You might not get to visit as often as you like, but the United States is the country for you. You should go to the United States again. I've never been in the first place. <laughs> I've never been to the United States in the first place. Well, but I should go again. Mm. Okay. Um, please comment below if you think that the United States is more for my, for me, it's the country for me, 
And do you also, do you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you think I should actually visit the United States at some point when I've got the funds to do so? Please comment below. All right. So anyway, I'll start again. You belong, you belong there, Edward. You might not get to visit as often as you like, but the United States is the country for you. You should go to the United States again. Well, go to the United States for the first time, actually. Um, it is long, it was long for your return. It's long for my begin, my, my first visit, actually. That is why you really, you are really from the United States. I'm really from the United States because Facebook says I am. Not because I've been there before, but because I haven't been there. So, <laughs> in, in your heart. Now, you know what? I do like a lot of people from the United States, apart from one person, and she knows who she is. Crystal White. Fucking no good piece of scum. Um, so, yeah, here you go. I will be putting this, uh, a picture of her, of this Crystal White, who you guys, you ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls from the United States, should watch out for because it's no good. All right? So, she's a user. She's married with three kids. Uh, four kids, sorry. Three boys and a girl. All right? And she does things over Skype, WhatsApp, and um, Facebook Messenger with other people, right? Telling me that she's in an open relationship. When open marriage, in fact, her words are, and there's no such thing as open relationship. There's no such thing as an open marriage. If you've been married, you've got that certificate to uh, promises to stay faithful to your partner, to death do your part. A husband is still in the land of living, so she's meant to stay. But she's meant to stay uh, faithful to her husband and her kids. But she's not. Which of uh, here you go, this one? Which of your friends would take a bullet for you? Ooh, I see who. Which one of my friends would take a bullet for me? I doubt it. None of them would. <laughs> um, well, it's only three of my friends I would actually take the bullet for. Oh, um, so according to Facebook, Carol Sloan is my friend. Yes, he's a Facebook friend, but actually, in reality. She's my mother. <laughs> so, yeah. She's not a friend as such. She's more like a... Fa uh, she's a Facebook friend because I got her on Facebook. But she's actually my mother. Right? But apparently she'll take a bullet for me. Who, help, who will help you get out of a tight spot? Right? All right, so I've got to add that one. Which four places make you the happiest? Which four places makes me the happiest? All right. There are four places... That makes you the happiest. Let's have a look at it. Four places makes me the happiest. Which four places apparently make me the happiest? Let's have a look. Well, right. okay. Kings Lynn. All right. Okay. That's the town where I am now. So, okay, I give them that. Um, Haverhill. Yes, that's the town where I'm actually from. That's the town I moved from. Uh, Peterborough. I've only been to Peterborough the once. I need to start there. <laughs> All right. I've been to London a lot of the time. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, London, I will uh, accept. Haverhill, I would definitely accept because that's where I'm from. Um, Kings Lynn, I'll have to accept because that's where I'm now living. All right? So, yeah. Okay. I give those... I've, I've been to all, all four of those places. All right? But I've only been to Peterborough. But the one time, so... Yeah, okay. Um... Hey, uh, Edward. What, what, wherever it, where, well, uh, whatever it's, Kings Lynn, Havehill, Peterborough, or London, those four places will make all, all those four places 
all make you happy and you will and you feel right at home when you're here your memories are ex expense uh, ex expense uh, of these places fill you fill you with joy every time you visit kings then or Lon london you jump for joy do i really maybe london because it's, it's our capital and it's got a lot of history a lot more than king's lynn um but yeah london's better <laughs> i should have been born in london i swear it i should have been born in london <laughs> i should be a london boy at heart really um what else who is your serial your special companion who is my special companion who is my special companion who is it let's have a look right what your your who is your spe uh, your spe oh spiritual companion sorry not special spiritual companion an actor an actor so my spiritual com uh, companion is an actor the spirit of an actor will lead le lead you to a happy life well okay um which actor do you guys think is my spiritual companion please comment that below and tell me what who your spiritual actor is it's an actor not actress it's a male actor all right it's a male not a female but a male who's going to who which so which male actor who sadly passed away is my spiritual companion please comment below all right it says here uh you and you are another long you're not you you are never alone in life your spiritual companion is always by your side to protect you whatever you worry about or need you can always rely on this spiritual being to support you with positive energy share this and show everyone which spiritual being is always by your side yeah i would like to find that one out who's my spiritual companion who is my spiritual companion i would like to find out who he is so please comment this but comment all the male actors who sadly passed away who could be my spiritual my spiritual companion which can lead me to happiness All right and i will share this also on facebook and get people on facebook to comment below as well please comment on meant be low who my spiritual companion is that's what that is it's definitely an actor so if it's an actor which which actor passed away i would like to know who my spiritual companion is right what why people love you because I'm just so gorgeous, intelligent, and that lady's got nice boobs. <laughs> Whoops, did I say it out loud? Oh dear. <laughs> uh, which of your photos belong in an explanation? Mm. No. 
we've created a beautiful video about your beautiful soul watching it now I don't think so uh, we'll show you four interesting facts about you Ooh, where were they really right that's quite dumb next does your partner love you or not no because I don't have a partner I'm single right? <laughs> are you ready to see your no I'm not uh, which 2017 trend, trend are you oh, I've, got, I've got to find this one out which 17 which seven which two two twenty uh, which 2017 trend am I am I let's have a look let's have a look oh Millie Groves she backs and temper she back she's back and temper to then thick that finer than ever Millie returned this year a completely different girl and this trend hang on why am I got her because I'm not a woman I'm a bloke hang on yeah I'm definitely a bloke <laughs> uh, yeah so I still share it because it's that's funny how comes they can get give me that result when she's a woman and I'm a bloke? Oh well. Um, <laughs> right. What does your wedding video look like? Watch now. No, I don't want to. I'm not married to. Why we don't want to? Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, who do you love the most? Who do I love the most? Um, I want to find out his. Who do I love the most? Who do I love the most? Let's have a look. Your best friend. Which one? I've got three. <laughs> I've got three best friends. So which one do I love the most? I've got three best friends. Right? <laughs> So that means I've got to love my three best mate, my best, my both three best friends the most. One, I've got three best friends. I've got Emma, Ruff, Emma Ruffles, I've got Ashley Mower, and Jamie Spooner. They're my three best friends. So if I'm ever going to get married, I would have to have not one but two best men <laughs> to stand beside me at the altar when I'm getting married to my wife. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Ashley Mower and Jamie Spooner, if you ever see this video, <laughs> all right, um, would you, and if, if you ever see this video and I was about to get married, would you both do me the honours of being my best man or my best men as well and stand with me at the altar when I'm getting hitched, getting married to my lovely uh, long lost bride to be right um it says here edward you love your best friend the most you are a loving person and have a big heart you always see the good in pe in the people around you and give them seconds second chances stay just the way you are yeah, there you go. And another thing is, best friends are through thick and thin. Right? You never ever see, you, you and your best friend or you and your best friends never always see, um, the, uh, see the same in every situation. But, so you, you know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say is that you, know, you and your best friends never see, nev never always see, never always see the same thing as each other in in, in every situation um, sometimes you squabble sometimes you have a, a bit of a bicker sometimes 
but you fall out. But best friends that always find a way to sort their friendship out and get back being best friends and sorting things out and tackling the world's ta- um, struggles together, right? And I must, I want to really say this to all three of my best friends, Ashley Mower, Emma Ruffles and Jamie Spooner. Guys, ladies, guys, I'm always there for you. So Ashley, um, Ashley and Emma and Jamie, we might not always see eye to eye, but I'm always there for you, okay? So, speak to you okay? Uh, I'm not finished yet doing this video, but I'll speak to them later. All right. Um, that's that one. <laughs> um, what are your most beautiful photos from... 2013 to 2016. I'm not about to do that one. I want to do something better. I want a better one. Create your positive entry mu- music. M- m- magic. Oh, I can't read that one. I can't read that very well because I do have a learning disability and it's fucking annoying when I can't. Well, I've already done that one. Which words should you what which words which words should your partner never forget? Get in the kitchen, make me some food. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Um if I was if, if I got with a nice young lady, she would not be getting in the kitchen because the kitchen would be my room. I love cooking that much. So I'll get that kitchen the kitchen would be mine. I would be doing the cooking. <laughs> Sorry, love. Um, right. And as you know, Edward is my Facebook name, so Edward's my Facebook name, but it's not my real name. Right? So it goes, Edward, when you think about yourself, do you think about all the things that make you special? Your eyes and your sweet smile, but beyond that is so much more. Think of all the people who you keep in your heart. You have made them laugh and gave them courage. Do you realise how strong you are? You you have overcome the different difficult times you fight uh, you you fight you overcome the, diff- the difficult times you fight you laugh you live you are not just a simple reflection but rather a strong character edward wow to change the Edward to Glenn, then you'd be fine. Then it, that'd be me. Because it's still me, because Edward is my Facebook name. <sighs> wow, yeah. <laughs> and that is definitely me. I don't give up that easily. Um, right. Heaven or hell? Where do you think, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, where do you think I'll be going when I've finally kick the bucket do you think i've been going down there to hell or do you think i'm going up there to heaven even though i'm an i'm an atheist so where would i go would i go to heaven hell or would i be in limbo <laughs> because i don't believe in god so i don't believe in the devil so i'm probably just be in limbo or just be right in there in the ground <laughs> if all right comment below Let's have a look, sorry. Um, okay, Edward is going to heaven. Am I? Well, I'm going to heaven to be an atheist. 
I said, does that make sense? I'm an atheist and I'm going to heaven. <laughs> Obviously, if God is actually exists, he doesn't mind. He will be quite often, quite often likes atheists. Maybe because we don't, we don't keep bothering him every hour of every day. We let him rest. Probably that is the reason why he likes the atheists. <laughs> right? This is the this is a result that truly speaks from your soul. You have found your final destination where you will have where you will have loads of fun. Share this and show everyone where you where you're already being ex excited expect expected. Okay. I'm an atheist. I'm an atheist and I'm going to heaven. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've never I've heard, I've heard it all now, an atheist in heaven. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look. That's next one. That's the next one. Which word, which word describes your heart? Which word do you guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, which word do you think describes my heart? Let's have a look. Click on that. Edward, your heart is golden. Only on a good day. <laughs> Only on a good day. Um, Edward, you've got a big heart and special... You've got a big and special heart. Your love is... Your love is for your friends and family. You always... You're, you're always there for them. Listen to their problems and give it your all to make sure they feel fine. Your feelings are honest and unconditional. Those you let into your heart will forget forever have a special place in it. You always see the good in people that that's uh, in people. And that's why your heart is a pure and optimistic. Optimistic. Edward, share your result to your fr uh, to show your friends which to, what which word describes your heart. Okay, people, uh, other people have actually um, said that. I uh, do have a heart of gold, <laughs> but there is people out there who will, who wouldn't agree with that, i.e., Chris Fields, or uh, and uh, Chris Fields wouldn't agree with that, and um, uh, Crystal White wouldn't think of that, um, but everybody else probably would, uh, which of your friends will be in your picture frame on the wall. Wow. Did I do that one? I don't know. Hang on. What places do people assist with you? Oh, hang on. That's a little place. Let's do this one. Which, pl right. which five places? Which, which place? It's five there, right? What places do people indicate with you? Let's have a look. Hmm. Let's have a look. Which five? Which one? Havehill. So uh, Havehill's in one and two. Havehill and then Havehill Suffolk. One and two. Right. Okay. Um, three. It's YouTube HQ. Yeah, <laughs> I like, I like, even YouTube's in there. <laughs> My hometown is in there on the one and two. All right. My home website is in number three. 
H uh, YouTube HQ. Uh, e zoned in number four. All right, and Kingsley Norfolk is in number five. All right, so <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I have to have shared that one, don't you think? I have to share that one. Um, Edward, you've really gotten around up. Uh, that sounds so wrong. <laughs> so wrong, Edward. You've really you you've really gotten around in your life. Hmm. Trying to be a fine thing. Um, people immediately think Haverhill when they hear your name. Also, think Haverhill, Suffolk. Without Edward, you. Uh, without Edward, you it wouldn't even be convinced. Convincible. Wow. <laughs> so really, I'm um, actually. Havehill born and bred. I knew I was Havehill born and bred. I'm actually a Havehill boy. Lovely Havehill, Havehill Suffolk. In the United Kingdom. Go for it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Havehill boys and girls, wicked. <laughs> Havehill boys and girls, give yourself a pack on, pat on the back. All right. Um, um, every YouTuber out there, also give yourselves a pat on the back for doing, for doing what you do. Um, and E-Zone, you know you guys are the best in what you do. So please, give, me a, give yourselves a pat on the back. And Kingsland, Norfolk, if you're from Kingsland, Norfolk, or if you moved to Kingsland, Norfolk, all right, give yourselves a pat on the back. All right? And know what? I love the YouTube, doing YouTube videos. When I'm doing YouTube videos, I'm mainly... Feel alive, all right? Um, I am actually under depression tablets at the moment, all right? Because I'm really distra distressed. But at the moment, I'm actually quite happy at the moment because I'm doing YouTube videos, I'm doing quizzes, and and I'm, I'm doing the quiz here, all right? and recording a YouTube video to share it with the one and only Jesus Videos subscribers, the ones who I love, because I love you all. Oh, I love all my subscribers. You're the best subscribers I have. And all the new subscribers I, I, I'll be yet to uh, gain to come along to us. Come on, come and hurry up and come and join GHS videos, the GHS videos uh, clan. All right? Um, as a look. Edward. You've all really, yeah, oh, sorry, Edward, you've really forgotten around you, your life, you, uh, in your life. People immediately think, think Havehill when they hear your name. Also, Havehill Suffolk, without Edward, you, uh, it, you, it wouldn't even be convincible. Oh, uh, is it convincible? Comfortable. I think it might be comfortable. I don't know. Remember the remember the last time you were in YouTube HQ. Uh, you had lots of uh, lot uh, lots and lots of friends there. In E Zone, they're all were always already missing you. Uh, in E Zone, they're already missing you, Edward. In Kings Lynn, Norfolk. Two, they're already asking about you. It's time to drop by for a spe for a spell. Well, here I am in King's Lynn, right? And I've been told by people in E Zone that are actually missing us, missing me, right? And I don't think do you, every every Hayfield Suffolk person, every everyone who lives or comes from Hayfield Suffolk who knows me. From Havel Suffolk. Comment below. Do you really miss me? Do you really think I just dropped by for a spell or two? Right. <laughs> um. Let's come with that and show them what they're on Facebook of what my result was. 
Um, what has life thought taught you? What has life taught taught me? Hmm. <laughs> not much. No, not to trust much people who I thought I could trust. Who is watching over you? Apparently, who is watching over me? My spiritual companion, the actor, the spiritual actor companion. Who are apparently that who I've apparently got watching over me. Apparently he's like watching over me. Right? Um what what's your attraction? What's your attraction? Let's find out what my attraction is, sorry. <laughs> Let's find my attraction. What's my attraction? Is it uh affection? My what's my affection, isn't it? Thank Thankfully, thank Phil, thank, frankly, uh, thank this, uh, thank for this, it's thank for this, and esteem, esteem uh, are as much a part of me as my, um, great, uh, I can't read that, so it's, I can't read that, um, so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because I can't read that, because my language is please, please read, please read through that and then come back and just comment that to us in easier print. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, Edward, you you're an excellently pers or something person who has already been through a lot, but this means you know what is what it means to really live uh oh, you're, you're edward you're a, a person who had already been through a lot but this means you know what it is what it means to really to really live you find joy in so many smart small things in life and even in a sunrise can can be the start of something big for you. Well, you know what? I have been through a lot. I have, and I can find joy in a lot of in some things. But at the moment, the only really thing I may I find joy in, right, is YouTube and my car, right, um, and even sometimes when I'm feeling a bit more happier within myself, a game on the Xbox, right? And then obviously, and I can't see her, I think she's in the bedroom, but my car, right? My, my car, my car, I mean my little girl, my dog, my doggy buggy, my doggy. She's a gorgeous little girl. <laughs> um, what, what's your warrior line? My warrior line, ooh, have I got a warrior line? Have I got a warrior on? What drug are you? Hmm. Hmm. What drug am I? I'm not going to do that one because I'm not into drugs. Um. What's your warrior line? Uh. Nope. Uh, what's your life quote for August? What's my life quote for August? Let's have a look, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look what my life quote for August is. Life quote for August is life is what at one it, life is a, a one time offer. Use it well. Wow. Um. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Life is a one time offer. Use it well. It is a like one time, right? But how can I use it well? How can I use my one time offer? And use it well. Alright. If. I'm, I'm, in, I'm on antipressants. Because the way I'm feeling. Um, because my old social worker. Chris Field. Is treating me like. I don't matter. I don't exist. I'm okay. I'm, uh, I'm a piece of dog shit. That she stood in and walked through. Um, so. And it, hang on. Edward, this is your quote for the month of August. Life is 
a one-time offer. You did it well. It's a beautiful saying that you should make the man mantra of your life for the next few weeks. Well, yeah, I should make. I should try and get out there more. Definitely more in August because it says I should. <laughs> And I must say, August is the best month going because, let's face it, that's my month. That's my month of existence. So, <laughs> um, but August is not just my month of existence. It's these guys. This guy here is a Leo. All right? All right? And as you can see, I'm one of his biggest fans. <laughs> Comment below if you like Michael Jackson if you're one of his biggest fans. Alright? If you're not if you're not a Michael Jackson fan, if you're a Michael Jackson hater, don't bother don't bother commenting. But if you're a Michael Jackson fan, right, please comment below. <laughs> Alright? What's what do, what goes what does what what does God want to tell you? That he doesn't exist? I already know that. <laughs> How is your personality? How is your personality? Mm. When it comes to Chris Fields, not very nice. Uh, what would your art... art uh, I don't want to do that one. Let us show you your real friends. I know what, my shunt is beginning to hurt me. Why people love you. <sighs> My shot is now beginning to hurt. Oh god. Um What will happen to you, what will happen this year? Hmm, I've already done that one. Are you ready to see no I'm not. Does your partner love you or not? No, I already told you, Facebook. I am single. Let's go to the next part. Next lot. Right, okay. Who is your real life superwoman? Cat Slater! <laughs> Cat Slater, my real life superwoman. Who is my real life superwoman? <laughs> um, come on. It's going a bit slow because I'm on Sky and Sky at the moment is so shit. Okay. What? Is my real life superwoman my mother or a monkey on something on my mother's head? <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell the difference. <laughs> sorry, mum. If you ever see this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> can't show it like that. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Um, um, why people love you? Let's have a go on that one then. Come on, then. let's go on that one. Why do people love me? People love your personality, your attract, ad, activity. You're active. You're active to be around. Yeah. You're active to be around. You always you always give great advice and put your positive energy. Your personality will make you successful in life. Really? Really? How can I be so? Okay. I probably can be successful in life. But I would love to be a successful YouTuber and get loads and loads of subscribers. So please, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you've not yet seen my YouTube channel, please, please, please click that like, scrub, click that like, that um, subscribe button, and turn the notifications on, and join the GSS videos clan. Okay. Um. Thank you. People love your personality. Your active uh, to be around you always give great advice and put out positive energy your pos put your personality will make you 
successful in life or it's just to the fame that done this is up there right but you know what? i will do that again because then he says it's just the same thing let's have a look right let's have a look next one next one and i think i've got to leave this one to be get this one to be the last one i think i'll make this one the last i what what does no don't want to do that one can we no um which six no uh who will you marry and when okay who would i marry let's have a look <laughs> Please, Facebook, don't be so creepy and disgusting. I don't want it to be a family member. I'm not interbred. Okay. Okay. Apparently, I'm going to marry my twin sister. That is a sick and wrong on so many levels. No way, no way am I doing that. That is incest. That is disgusting. That's no way. Ugh. 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 Shit, that's so sick. Yuck, I'm getting that off. I'm not using that. I'm not using that. That's just get, that's sick. Nah. <laughs> Does your partner not <laughs> know? Are you bubbly? Or still water? Am I bubbly or still water? Let's have a look. Um, what, what am I? Bubbly water? Bubbly or still water? Let's have a look. <laughs> that was just so sick. I I can't stop the video there. I've got to keep going a bit longer now so, so I can get a positive ending. Oh, that's sick. They say still waters can't run deep uh they say still water waters run deep and ye yours certainly do <laughs> you are a sea of calm and a pleasure to be around but you also propose great power and passion the angry the, and the angry you bring the energy, no, no, sorry, the energy you bring is like serving a cool drink of H20, H2O, so H2O, um, on a hot summer's day. Wow, I love that one, I love that one, that's cool, <laughs> I love that one. There you go, share that one. I love that one. <laughs> Whoa. What is your Bible quote? My Bible quote is God doesn't exist. All right. My Bible quote is the atheist Bible. God doesn't exist. And if God don't exist, neither does the devil. But the atheist, the atheist uh, clan, the atheist church, which is in my heart, exists and stands proud. Sat stand strong. Um, who is your favourite best friend? Who's my favourite best friend? Hopefully one or three people. Who is my favourite best friend? Hopefully one or two people. Uh, one or three people. Come on. Who? Hopefully one or three people. Ashley, Emma or Jamie. Which one? Which, this is my mum. She's not my best friend, she's my mum. Well, she should be my best friend, but she's not. She's, she's my mum. I love my mum to bits, so don't get, don't get upset, mum. I do love you to bits. Um, who part, who, what, who's part of your soccer team? Who's a part of my soccer team? Let's have a look. Who's a part of my soccer team? Oh. <laughs> Find out who, uh, I still can find that one again. Hopefully I can see that one. Edward Sloan. Yeah, our number one, yay. Carol Sloan's number two. Emma Ruffles is number three. Mary Burton is number five. Uh, number four, sorry. Ashley Mower is number five. Hardy McKenzie is number six. Katie, Katie Sloan is number seven. 
Terry and I is number eight. Number nine is Bromley McKenzie Sloan. And Jamie Spooner is number 10. And then Terry Kim Sloan is number 11. Okay, I've got three of my best mates in that in my uh, soccer team. FC Sloan. <laughs> is it Sloan FC? Is it Sl Sloan Football Club? Join the Sloan Football Club. We're the best. We're strong. We stand united. <laughs> I've got to show. I've got, to, I've got to share that one. I've got to share it. <laughs> um, we're the best. <laughs> we stand strong. We stand united. Uh -huh. What classic car suits you best? Oh, I've got to do that one. I've got to do that. I love my cars. I love my classics. Ooh. What's going to be? What's going to be my classic car? My classic car. And I'm, I'm just got a saw here. Ooh, I like that. Nineteen fifty-five Ford Thunderbird. Oh, it's a Thunderbird. <laughs> what classic car suits you best, Edward? Nineteen fifty-five Ford Thunder. Bird. Hang on, I thought the Thunderbird it was a Nissan. But it says here, a Ford Thunderbird. So the Ford, hello, fly. You can see this. <laughs> um, pro uh, professional owner. Uh, wow. Right. This something car suits your per, per suits you perfectly. This car. Pro, pro, pestens, your uh, personality. Share this and share this and show everyone which uh, car suits your uh, character. Wow, I've got to share this then. <laughs> I have to share this. Facebook telling me to. But now I don't share everything that Facebook tells me to. Because I think sometimes their Facebook quizzes can be a sick and wrong and went bleh, make me sick. Um, but sometimes I'm really good and sometimes really funny. Um, who loves you and who loves uh, who who loves you and who loves you more than anything? Ooh, let's have a look. Who loves me and who loves me more than anything? I probably might share this one. I might do. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I've um, got 89 love you. I had eight, uh, 89 people love me. And then 391 love me, love me more than anything. So, <laughs> I'm pretty loved. I am pretty loved. Right. Would you have expected this result? Not really. No, I wouldn't have. It's not, it's not only the people close to you who love you, but also who are not that close to you. Um, magically, um, ma ma magically put everyone under your spell. It's no surprise that nobody has a bad opinion about you. Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> I know, so a couple of people have, a, have a, a bad thing to say about me. Mention their names. Um, um, you are lovable. You are a lovable person looking for people who are just like you. Share your positive, your in, 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 figures and show your uh, and show everyone that especially the whole world loves you wow the whole world loves me apparently the whole world loves me apparently comment below if you're one of the people <laughs> who loves me <laughs> please comment below <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. What? 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 Have Grandma tell you your future? Your fortune? Grandma? Maybe. Hold on. How do? How? How old does your face look? That's because I'm. Do I want to do that one? Um, do you have the magic in you? Find out now. Do I have the magic to find me? Let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Do I have the magic in me? Come on, come on. Do I have the magic in me? Let's have a look. Okay. Apparently, I've got magic. Apparently, I'm a wizard. Right, Edward is 119% wizard. Right, Edward, wiz uh, Hogwarts has already sent a letter to you. You, <laughs> you are overflowing with magical talent and will become the greatest wizard Hogwarts has ever seen. Come paired to you, Elvis Dumbledore seems like a muggle. <laughs> okay, Elvis Dumbledore, step aside for ya. <laughs> Jesus video is coming to take your place. <laughs> um, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> I'm going to say, I like that one. I'm he heading off to Hogwarts. Move over, uh, Elvis Dumbledore and Professor Quilling and, oh yeah, Harry Potter. <laughs> Move aside. Jesus videos is coming to Hogwarts. Right. <laughs> and another thing is, Bronwyn Amber? Bronwyn Mackenzie? So I am 119% wizard. So behave yourself, my girl, my niece, because I could turn you in to a frog. Hmm. Right. Which city should you live in? Ooh, what city should I live in? Let's have a look. Please say Berry. Please say Berry. I want to say. <laughs> Please say Berry to Edmonds. Please say Berry to Edmonds. I would love Berry to Edmonds. I want it to be. Come on. I want it to be Berry to Edmonds. Which city should I live in? Please say Berry to Edmonds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Berry to Edmonds. Ah! Oh, Kingsley! I'm already here, mate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, I'm already in Kings Lynn, but come on, I want it in Berry St. Edmunds. Berry St. Edmunds is the nuts, the town to be in. Um, Edward, your heart spit, skips a beat when you think about this place and you feel a lot of love that. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> it, my heart never be, speaks a, but skips a beat when I'm here in Kings Lynn. When I'm in Berry St Edmunds in Suffolk, Berry St Edmunds in Suffolk, my heart skips a beat. But not in Haverhill and not in Kings Lynn. Right? <laughs> sorry, Kings Lynn, sorry, Haverhill. But the hate the town for me, I would say, has to be Berry St Edmunds in Suffolk. That's my town. That's a town I love. Right? Um, I do love Haverhill and I do love Kings Lynn, but the town for me has got to be Berry St Edmunds. Alright, so it says here though, back, King, back Kings Lynn, Edward, your heart sp skips a beat when you think about this place and you feel a lot of love there. Everything about this city is perfect. The temp Tom, Tom, I think, can't read that. The mood and the people, they make you feel at home. 
and it's the best feeling in the world. Really, like I said, Bury St Edmunds is my, is my hometown, the hometown I love. Even though I actually come from Haverhill, and Haverhill is my proper hometown. Right? And I'm li- even though Haverhill is my proper hometown, but I'm living here in Kingsland, um, my hometown at heart is actually Bury St Edmunds. That's my favourite town. I love Bury St Edmunds to, piece, to, p- to bits. Bury St Edmunds is my hometown. In heart. In the heart. Who will never give up on you? Who will never give up on me? Do I do that one? Do I do that one, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Or should I leave that for another video? I think I might leave that for another video. We have filmed a movie of your life journey. Click here. Check it out. Here, now. Nah. Are you a good person? <laughs> oh, well, me. Am I a good person? Yes or no? Comment below. <laughs> what type of person are you? A sex god. Yeah, right. <laughs> are you more like your mother or your father? Uh, I would say I'm more like my father than any than my mother. What? Find out your uh, meaning of your. Oh, I'm gonna do that one actually. Find out if I'm more like my mother or my father. What am I mostly like? I bet I'd be more like my father because I've got. I would say I'm more like my father. But what am I mostly like? Who am I mostly like? Okay. According to Facebook, I'm more like my mum than I am a dad. <laughs> okay. Um, I thought I'd be more like my dad. But never mind. According to Facebook, though, I'm more like my mum than my dad. But I feel like I'm more like my dad than my mum. <laughs> so, it is on here, right? you have a little bit of both in you. And that results in this, in the perfect mixture. You can be proud of, of what they have passed on to you. Your parents' best qualities. Have they got really best qualities? I don't know. Um, are combined, combined in you. That makes you the usual uh, in, 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 impressive, impress, impressive, per, impressive person that you are today. Share this result with everyone and show them that you got the best of both worlds. Well, I do have best of both worlds. I do have best of both worlds. This is what face book. This is what Facebook thinks about me, but what do you all of you think who I'm more like my mum? Or my dad. Comment, comment below and let me know. So Facebook thinks I'm more like my mother. I think I'm more like my father. I see what my Facebook friends 
my family on Facebook thinks I'm who I'm more like my mum or my father. You, how mean are you? How mean am I? Mm, maybe I do that one. Why is your name perfect for you? Because I'm so sexy. What does your date of birth reveal about you? Mm, I do, could we do that one? How many people want to kiss you, marry you, or kill you? Wow. How many people love you and hate and hate you? I got that one. How many people love me? How many people how many people want to kiss you, marry you, or kill you? Let's have a look. Okay, 361 wants to kiss me, marry, um, 98 wants to marry me, and two people wants to kiss, uh, want to kill me, and I know one person who wants to kill me, <laughs> and that would probably be Crystal White, <laughs> because I do not speak up much. Unless I really need to. And she I spoke up against. And I'm quite happy I did. I'm not sorry that I did. So. I need to sort this out actually. Oh. Um. Okay. Do that one. Oh, ball bags. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. I forgot to do that bit. I forgot to highlight and paste that. Copy that. Oh, never mind. What was your name and what did you do in your previous life? Ooh, let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. What, what was my name? And what did I do in a pre previous life? Let's have a look. It'd be funny if someone could do media. Right. Right. What was your name? Uh, born. I was, apparently I was born in 1838. So that was my I was born in the previous life. Um, um, my name was Edwin, Edwin Sloan, um, steer, uh, in over, over a hundred movies, Star I starred in a hundred movies, but the footage was lost, wow, so no wonder I'm, I like doing YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I partly Back in this time, right? Back in this, when I was born, in this, right? I was Edwin Sloan, right? And I starred in over a hundred movies, but the but the footage was lost, right? So, yeah, no wonder I like YouTube. Um, Edward, what a crazy past you here you have. Yeah, and a crazy. Comment knife I have because look at me I'm doing YouTube wicked <laughs> um, in your past life and uh, in your past life you were quite the character times were tougher back then and you currently had some rough times but you now but now you're living a different life. And you can look back on the one on this one and smile. Wow, yeah. <laughs> no wonder why. No wonder why. No wonder why. I thought I was something in my back window, uh, looking out the, my back door there. <laughs> but I went. Right. That was actually pretty. <laughs> I like that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> right.
No wonder I like YouTube. No. W. O. N. D. E. R. Wonder. I. Like. B A YouTuber if this was me back then <laughs> Whoa, I like that one. I actually do like that one. What will you say? Ooh, what does God have to tell you? Like I said, Facebook, I don't like those ones because I'm an atheist and don't believe in God. What's your karma? Ooh, what's my karma? <laughs> My karma. This one, I'm going to make this one the last one. I mean it, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm going to make this one my last one. You what, right, dude? Hello. Hang on. Yeah, I'm... Hang on. Edward's karma is friendly... Friendliness. You, you've always been... Friendly towards others, you trust others with you, know, you. You treat others with respect and listen to them whenever they need someone. Uh, uh to yeah, talk no, to. You haven't, got, you haven't got no one around yours, have you? That's no. Treat no someone to talk to. That's why you receive friend friendliness. When you, when you need to, when you need it, when you need it the most, you know. But I'm doing a YouTube video. Um, yeah, I've just had fun in the bathroom, like. Uh huh. You've done I'm many. Just, hang on, I'm dude. Just fun in the bathroom. Shit, you're up, uh, Hang on, dude. I'm just. Hang I'm on, just shit, man. Tell me in a minute. Back. Tell me in a minute. Tell me in a minute. Because I am recording at the moment. <laughs> You've. Oh, you, <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> My mate here is on WhatsApp Messenger. <laughs> it's making me laugh. Um, you've been, you've done many good deeds in your life, and that's why karma is full of positive energy. Everything you send out will eventually come back to you. You will. Ex um, you will experience many good things in life because you deserve them. Thanks for thanks to your kind kindness, kind your kind-hearted nature. Share your result with your friends so that they can also find out what their karma is. I. That I was actually respect. I've never been in a fight. Never been in a fight for thirty-five years, and I'm not gonna stop now. <laughs> well, don't lie. You've had a fight before in the past, over a woman. That's not really a fight. That's not really a fight. That's not really a fight. That's still violence. That's not really a fight. And hang on, hang on. <laughs> Um, that's not really a fault. All my friends, every day. There's no end, it's the Facebook way. Oh my god, ten likes! I'm so popular. Like a pop. Poke a friend. Post a pretty pic from your vacation. Look your phone. Stalk your ex.